um Enki. Okay, Enki. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, yeah. For me, I do not doubt the effectivity of Enki. You know, yeah. I was in, in Spanish high school, we had to do flashcards and I was doing those flashcards like crazy and I remember mm -hmm. that vocabulary. I yeah. let's say dabbled in Enki, but I'm like one of those guys that have never been able to make it stick because yeah. there's always something I would rather be doing in that language. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I find that, okay, if I'm going to do this, it needs to be like the first thing I do in the language. But mm -hmm. the problem for me is that, okay, there's some days that maybe, you know, let's say I could say from anywhere from one to three hours a day, mm -hmm. one to two, two and a half, one on like a, on a low side but let me let me say a day that like i can only do like something comes up in the day and i have to leave or something yeah. like that and it's like yeah. since i'm trying to do enki every enki every day um mm -hmm. like i don't want that to be like the only like the thing that i do you know what i mean yep. so i tell yep. myself oh then uh, maybe i'll do it at the end of the night before i go to bed but it's just like you know whatever you know what do you think yep. it is about Enki that just makes it like so I mean no one doubts it but it's kind of unappealing in terms of the broader language scope you know what I mean well I I think I think some people do doubt it um because a lot of people don't get what uh the people who have used it very effectively again I'm talking about Matt and um and Shalma I think he used it like heaps um, the people who have used it very effectively, they, the people who doubt it don't understand what they were doing with it. They weren't sitting there drilling the language into their mind. They're reminding themselves that certain words or phrases exist so that when they, they hear those words or phrases in their content, in their immersion, that they go, oh yeah, that one. Like it just, because you can't listen out for everything. If you're listening, if you're watching a series, you know, and there's like, I don't know how many words per episode of a series, it might be a couple of thousand, you can't listen out for every little thing, especially when you're engaged in the content. So Anki is just like a, an artificial way to get, to get your brain to go like, this is important, just like, so it's like, some people call it like the blue car effect. And I think it's actually called like frequency bias, which is like, you know, you're considering buying a, a certain kind of um, Mazda and um, and then suddenly you see that car everywhere. You think everyone's driving, <laughs> you see so everyone driving concept. Mazdas, yep. right? It's totally real concept. It's you and it's like actually annoying in real life because it gives you the idea that like things are happening that aren't happening. Um, you're like, oh, everyone's buying Mazdas now. It's like, no, that's not what it's just your brain is is noticing them. It's using that, but for positive to the positive effect of like this word varlig in Swedish suddenly that that's like an important word where your brain was just kind of going oh I think I vaguely get that or like oh, I get what's happening in this scene mm -hmm. um and then suddenly you're going like you're seeing it every a day and then every second day and then every fifth day and your brain's going this is important so um I think the people who don't understand who, do, who d doubt Anki don't understand that that's what it's actually for um I think obviously the interface, the natural interface, if you haven't changed it on Anki, doesn't help. It's got like, uh, I made the joke in my video. I'm assuming you watch my video about Anki, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I made the joke that it's like um, Ariel Narrow Black. It's actually not. It's an even more boring font than that. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, like the interface doesn't help. But I think mainly what I realized that I didn't like about it was that I didn't understand what the mechanics of it, like I didn't get, know what was going on behind the scenes. And for that reason, something like a gold list or a, or just a list on the, or even on my wall or something made more sense. Cause I was like, okay, the it's, an, it's inferior in that I'm not seeing things in like a, uh, an optimized way, but, but at least I know exactly what's happening. So for that reason, I like something like Lingvist that actually, it's basically almost tells you how many times more that you're going to see that word before, before it deems that you won't forget that word. Um, but Lingvist isn't nearly as customizable as Anki. Um, and then there's just all these, like, there's all these terms. And uh, I thought that they were like native terms to Anki as in that they were like, uh, so it's got like the ease factor. 
And I'm not even sure if that's an add-on, like if that's because I've got some of the add-ons that um, Matt and Yoga developed back in the day or that like now have been. So like there's all, it's like just such a complicated program and nothing's named what it, like what it seems like it should be named. Like what's an ease factor? What does that even mean? It's like, okay, yeah, you can you can start to appreciate it, but it's almost like you have to learn a small other language before you... Uh, before you even appreciate what Anki is doing. But here's an irony of that video. There's a massive irony that I haven't yet revealed on my channel about that video. I was, I'd been doing Anki for about a month when I made that video, like every day. And I was like, yep, this is good. Like just a small amount every day, no more than 10 minutes. Um, and then that video had some complicated uh, graphics in it. Mm -hmm. that really stressed my uh, graphics processor in my computer and um and but i'd already put them in and so to in order to even finish the video i had to order a new graphics card and this is this is getting well off language learning now oh, but wow. like anyone who's tried to order a graphics card lately knows that there's been some complications with this to oh. put it lightly um as in there's been a, it's to do with bitcoin mining and there's like people using graphics card anyway they're complicated i finally got one i put it in it worked fine i did the video exported it and everything but that graphics card then gave me other problems with my computer that led to the eventual uh complete um crash of my computer that meant i needed to reinstall windows i reinstalled windows <laughs> I backed stuff up. I had to wait a bit to get the right equipment and whatever. I backed stuff up. I <laughs> I then realized that one thing I had not backed up was my Anki decks. Wow. And I was like, I was just getting into Anki and I've lost all the work that I put in making cards. Now, <laughs> thankfully, this wasn't thousands of cards. It was like a bit over, a bit under 300 cards. Right. And I was like, I can redo this, but it's more just like with the add-ons I had and the code that I had to make it not be white and like my own font and everything. It was all a bit complicated. And then even worse than that, when I did install Anki, I was like, okay, let's get back to it. It's been a couple of weeks break, but I installed Anki and it just didn't, it just didn't work. Like it just literally, I, it's like, yep, the installation worked, but then I went to use Anki and it was like, cannot run script Anki.dll or whatever. I was like, okay, Anki hates me now. All right, whatever. <laughs> and it just didn't work. And um, and then for some reason, one day it just did work. I just saw it again. I was like, oh, I'll just see if this thing's working. And it, it worked. And and then I discovered that actually I hadn't thought that I'd backed up my Anki things, but it had luckily been in a folder that did happen. I did happen to back up. <laughs> I didn't even know that Anki does this, but now I, I love it so much more that it does. It actually, whenever you like open it for the day and close it, it, it creates a backup of like where it was up to. And so I opened up this backup. I was like, oh, what's this Anki backup from like the last day that I'd used it? And it basically wipes your current setup, which at the time was nothing because like I, it wipes your current setup and puts it back to whatever it was then, which rein, reinstated my decks basically. Um, so there's still a bit of work to do in terms of to get it to be like my nice color and the nice font and everything, which is actually more important to me than the decks because I can't stand looking at uh, what what is called vanilla unky, but yeah, that's the the irony of it was that that video that was me ranting about unky caused the entire breakdown <laughs> of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I for a, for a while I was genuinely considering just going, you know what, this is not meant to be. Like exactly. I'm not meant to be an unky user. Like, like from the universe. Yeah, but well, um, who do you think you are? Anky yeah. Man. But it's but it's uh, it's back and at, for the moment I'm using it in vanilla Anki, but it just <laughs> get it. And I've got a bit of catching up to do. So it's lucky I was only doing two words a day, because now my my like uh, what's it called the reps that I have to do for today is like eighty, not seven hundred, because I missed like two weeks. Um, yeah. So that I think, but I didn't answer your question. The, I think it's mainly that people don't understand how to set it up. 
Uh, I think you need add-ons to get it to do anything. Even Matt says like back when he was first using it, it's a, it's actually a really inefficient algorithm as it stands. And if you've wow. got the four, well, if you've got the four options, uh, which he, so one of their add-ons that I had was to make it just two options, just yes or no. Do you remember it or not? Um, but if you've got the four options, one of them, which is when you say, oh, that I got that, but it was hard that actually jets the card like long into the future, which is the opposite of what it should do. Mm. If it's, if you're saying it's hard, it should show you again, like tomorrow or the next day. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah. And I think just everything combined means that it's just that, but as someone pointed out on my channel recently that they're like, it seems to be the curse of language learning software that it's either really, really effective, um, and horribly designed <laughs> or, or a nice design, but not that great. Like, like du oh, du yeah. Duolingo on one end and Anki on the other kind of thing. Um, this is one problem I haven't had to deal with. Like, you know, I'm such like a, a computer technology basic guy that, you know, mm -hmm. people complain about this, the interface of uh, Anki and for me, I'm like, whatever, it's whatever. People said the same yeah. thing about Link for me. It's like, what? I'm like, oh, whatever, you know? Yeah. So for me, I guess this thing doesn't really bother me. So I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't ex exactly know what it is because with some stuff, I don't care about design, but like, I don't know. It's a, it's, I feel like I've kind of turned myself into someone I don't like. And <laughs> like, I care, I care more about design than like, uh, we like in my in my twenties. I feel like I would have been like, oh, "Why do Why do you even care?" That's um, what I say. Yeah, to me. <laughs> uh, but also, I just want to point out. Well, for for anyone watching this, who's um, the the whole spaced repetition algorithm. Anki is not like unique. You know, it's not. It, they all use a similar or the same algorithm. Um, so it's not like Anki's got like a special algorithm that makes it that makes it better. Um, and it's not even that the algorithm of like how often you see the cards and whatnot uh, is even very special. It's, it's, I think it's something like 90% of that blue car effect is, is made just by, by you being reminded that it exists every now and then. It doesn't actually matter. Even if it's some obs extremely obscure word that you mightn't see for like a year, if you see it, three times that year, that's probably enough for it to be more effective in your immersion, even if you can't remember exactly what it means. Um, so exactly. if, if, if you're there going, no, nah, I just hate Anki, I can't deal with it or whatever, it, just write lists of words, like put write lists and put them on your wall and look at a different one every day or, um, or just do physical flashcards and just like jumble them up in random order. You don't even have to, don't even have to worry about this card was good. Or and if you feel like you know it, then just chuck it out. Right. Um, and it makes that just that is like ninety percent of <laughs> the effect of Anki. So you can you can get ninety percent without even doing Anki. Exactly.